All right, so we're gonna look at the Coachman Freelander 27 QB, and we're gonna take a look just to see how many seat belts are actually in this camper. All right, this motor home, uh, I've already been in it, but I haven't counted the seat belts before, so we're gonna take a quick look right now. All right, so right off the bat, obviously we got the two in the front compartment. One, two, right, seat belts. Three, four, right, five, six, and then this is the dinette. Looks like it has seat belts here, so we'll take a quick look. Seven, eight, nine. Did I just count that wrong? Anyways, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Holds nine people, right? Doesn't even sleep nine people. Uh, maybe a small family. Let's see. You get two people sleeping up here on the bunk if they're, you know, the right size, because the bunk holds 350 pounds. The dinette becomes a bed. Technically, the manufacturer says two people. I'm saying one, two, three, four, because the sofa becomes a bed. Five, six on the queen bed. Um, definitely all the extra seat belts. You can bring a road trip, bring a party, especially if you're just going to camp uh, with tents and stuff like that. Throw everybody else outside. But when checking the seat belts in the motor homes, make sure you actually physically see them and don't just assume they're tucked under the cushions. The dealerships normally do do that. However, not all of the campers like this coachman over here will have all the seat belts you assume. Some of them sometimes only have two I've seen in motorhomes. Sometimes they'll only have two on one two on one side and then two over here or three over here and they don't have that additional space. So actually make sure you physically get in and see it if you're considering purchasing or go online and try to look it up. So the Coachman 27 QB Freelander, it does sleep. It does sleep six. Um, it does carry six people. Ah, nine people, I'm sorry. Nine people can comfortably ride in here safely, legally. All right. Thanks for watching.